<clears throat> Good morning everybody and welcome to today's golf drills in the garden on another beautiful sunny day. Um, this week I'm really starting to talk in a little bit more detail about particular areas of your swing. Um, and what I'm hoping is, is that you get a real light bulb moment this week where as you start to just focus on one small area of your body or your swing and start to feel how one tiny change in movement can really make your swing feel different and to, and to develop it into more powerful positions, that you can really see the value of this slow motion practice as you start to understand the feelings in your swing and help to develop and enhance those feelings. And from that, I really feel that this, this lockdown practice is actually a massive opportunity for you to learn more about your swings and in a way that you would never do, just hitting balls in a net or on a range or on the golf course at flat out full speed, that, that one and a half seconds it takes to hit a golf ball, you do not get the chance to feel and develop what is going on. So I'd love to think that you've actually learned a huge amount from developing these drills and that it's something that you could find very useful going on well past lockdown, that you come out in the garden for a few minutes each week and have a little tinker and remember that faults that you have in your game, don't, when you get rid of them, doesn't mean you've got rid of them forever. They can creep back in. That's what they always do. So by having a little tinker at home in slow motion, you can monitor those feelings, whatever one you've picked, and just keep making sure that you're getting into the right positions and retraining those feelings again. So yesterday we talked about the role of the left knee in the backswing and how it can make a massive difference to where your body goes, just by whether the left knee pops forward in the swing or gets dragged inward into the right side and how it massively affects your body core. And I hope from doing the tinkering that you've done in the last day, you can really start to feel those differences and understand how the slow motion practice is really helping it to sink in here and to build up these improved shapes. So today, I'd like to talk in much more specific detail about how the right knee can affect the through swing move because one of the biggest problems that I see in the through swing is that even if people have made a, a powerful backswing coil, that when they start their leg action on the way through, in their effort to get up onto their left side to that full finish, they tend to drive too much from the right leg. And if they drive from the sort of this area and this area here, it's almost like a thrusting move which lifts the right heel off the ground very very quickly this way but what that does is it throws you into an into out swing path or what it certainly does is that if this is going that way it's then very very hard for the left hip to turn over the left heel so you get a position where yes your right legs come off the ground but look i just can't turn my hips this way so this is why if you go right back to when I first talked about unwinding from the ground up, I talked about using the feet and ankles. And if you feel like you're driving your ankles towards the target and that your weight's going down through the left side of your feet into the ground, look how it takes the right knee inward and it starts to move your body weight onto the inside of your right foot. So you're almost feeling that yes, the whole of the outside of the right foot is starting to come off the ground, but the right heel hasn't necessarily yet. And that movement there, look, by getting the weight this way and the right knee this way, now look how this left hip can turn and rotate and clear through to that lovely balance finish. Whereas if the right hip and leg have driven off the ground that way, now look, this just can't turn. The other way you often see this is as a, it causes a buckling left knee as well and strain on the left ankle. So I want you to practice really loosening up your ankles, getting that action like that so that you can drive the ankles and then as this left glute turns, this right knee doesn't go forward, it comes inward and you'll really start to feel a bigger stretch here, a bigger stretch down your left ankle and left shin as you rotate and clear. So start by doing it just like this. Then you can add the arms in as well if you want to. Really making sure that the ankles take the right knee inward and then you can carry it on through in 
into some of the other through swing stretching drills we did. But again, you can see how much you can learn about how feelings can improve in your through swing rotation because of one thing, the, the, the feeling of where that right knee is taken if you use your ankles correctly to start the downswing. So have some more fun tinkering with it. Send me any questions you have by email, no problem. I look forward to seeing those and we'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy your practice.